to Tech After Dark. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use two headphones on one Mac OS system. So any MacBook, whatever you have, this should work for most models. From the start, you'll have to open up Finder or you can do Command Space and search for Audio MIDI Setup. So you can either go Command Space and then Audio MIDI Setup or to open that, or you can go down to Finder and then go over to Applications and then go to Utilities at the bottom. So you scroll down to the bottom utilities and then audio MIDI setup. So there's two ways you can get to that really easy. You can also use the trackpad so you can go in, go to other and then go to audio MIDI setup. So right now we've got the MacBook Pro microphone, MacBook Pro and then my devices and they're all connected at the top here. My Bluetooth is connected here. So both are connected. I can see the battery life, everything there. You can go to Bluetooth preferences, both are connected. I actually go into the options and turn off automatic ear detection. That's the ideal way to use them. So you turn off that. And so I can use one AirPod, for example. Um, so let's just close out of that. Let's go down to the plus button of Audio MIDI. So plus, create multi output device. That'll create it at the bottom here. And from here, I can actually select which ones I wanna use. I can use the MacBook Pro speakers, Beats Flex, Teo's AirPods, so I can go and click all of them if I'd like, and all of them will play. Um, generally, I want to just do the Beats Flex and the Teo's AirPods, because that's generally what I want to want to use. If you want to use the third one, then go crazy there, but these two work perfectly fine. Uh, one thing is that it's hard to actually change the volume. It doesn't allow you with that little X mark. So. What you'll need to do is actually go into the second one there and adjust the volume manually. Um, you can't actually do it on the system level. So if you're inside the YouTube video, you can adjust the volume for both, but it'll depending on what the primary volume of the actual AirPod or Beats Flex or whatever headphone you have, this works for everything. So you'll need to actually just drag that up and it's kind of annoying because you can't drag both at the same time, even though there is a little um, toggle for it. You'll have to do both and like kind of get roughly the value there. You can go to here if you'd like and then type like eight. Generally you want to like make sure that you just kind of get it both the, like the range you want because it's kind of annoying if you want to go in. Um, especially you got to do 0.8 and it's kind of like finicky. But once you get it working like it's great on a plane or something or like you know if you just want to listen to something with your significant other or if you're just chilling with friends or something, and you just wanna be in the same MacBook and listen to the same content without sharing one ear pod, you know, each. So yeah, so that's after you add that, that should be good to go. And you will need to right click and make sure that you use this device for sound output because if it's on MacBook Pro speakers, this won't work. So if you're switching back and forth, you'll have to go back into audio MIDI and switch it. So this is MacBook Pro speakers, that's working for like Crab Rave or whatever. You're going in, you're playing it, it's working for that, that's great. But yeah, as soon as you go over here, you'll have to go to multi-output to use on those both devices. Use this device for sound output. You'll have a little sound thing which knows which is working. So you'll see that um, that is on the speaker and the MacBook Pro speakers won't be working. So from there, you can hear it in both headphones there, which is great. And you can even drift correction. So if things aren't working great, you can try that too. Um, but generally like you're, you're going to have a great time here and like you have to just make sure you remember to switch between both because if you see um, a little X to that, that, that means it's, it is working. Um, but yeah, it depends on what you're trying to do. And yeah, you can kind of go from there. You can start listening on planes or anywhere in the world. I don't know why Apple hasn't added this feature yet. Maybe hopefully in iOS 16, AKA Mac OS Ventura for the MacBook. But yeah, let's uh, hope they add that soon because it's a little finicky, but it's pretty easy. 
So uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments and please subscribe and uh, check me out on all the socials. So awesome. Well, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.